call it is one of the most livable cities in the Philippines. <laughs> Setting lunch with friends, all my other friends. <laughs> Um, she also came from the same school. We are both graduates of mass communication in the University of Microsoft that are right letters. And right after graduation, you started working at Sunstar? No, I started working at the University of Microsoft. I worked for okay, that's another 14 day, years. No? 14 years. No? And then a uh, new opportunity came and uh, I joined Sunstar 10 years ago. 20 years ago. So in total, you have like a 24 so years experience. More, uh, yeah, more or less. More or less. Kala Kanyet. I know, you know, I'm a mass com graduate. My major is broadcasting, no? But uh, I also tried uh, working in radio uh, only a short time. So, uh, but uh, most of my years in journalism was really spent on newspapers and all that. So I cover general beat, uh, before all events. And now I'm doing the lifestyle. And, uh, so this is lifestyle. Oh, I'm also taking care of our, our <laughs> online or multimedia reports. No? Uh, you can log on to Sunstar Bacolod. Uh, Sunstar. No? Um, if you read... Uh, uh, you That's can a read, daily can, paper. Yeah, yeah, it's a daily paper. You can either read here or you can also access to our online Sunstar Bacolod. Yes. And if you have like birthday parties because you're a lifestyle college, yes. right? You also publish that in uh, a yeah. page. Yeah, yeah. So every day is a learning process no, for journalists uh, no, because uh, you really have to have commitment to this process because if you lack it, uh, you will never stay in all the and all. But a lot of people know, know you already behind the camera. Like you know a lot of politicians. So what benefits or what, 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 what do you gain out of the 24 years experience being in the journalism? You know, the, you know being in the media profession, it's all about glamour and stuff yeah. about that. But uh, I don't use that for my own personal I know. Uh, I stay humble. No? So the more uh, the more people know me, the more I am I humble myself. Because uh, if you you keep on boasting and all that, so you, nobody will. That is really bad for your you know, your reputation as a journalist. So you have to stay humble so that uh, only time and on. Only your experience can teach you a lot of lessons in that, especially in the media. Right. So what do you what do you tell the aspiring journalists or uh, broadcasters? Uh, I there think, is still uh, college. Yeah, yeah. If you want, if you want to pursue a media profession, you really have to have commitment, reading, and uh, studying. It's really part of journalism. Without that. You can never learn from it. So you have to embrace, fall in love with words every day, read uh, a lot of uh, books if you want. So Does it matter also in which school you come from? No, 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 no. 
you can never learn from the four walls of our classroom. So you really have to experience the way by practice, no? And at the end of the day, it's Whatever you do, you put your heart in it. No? It doesn't matter where university or a public school you came from. Just put your heart in everything you do and you will have uh, you will really gain the expertise yeah, and you will get there. You will really get on top. No? Yes. But be humble in yes. your way to the top. Because what's what's difficult most of the time is that when you're on top of the game. You tend to be abused, or you abuse your being being there on top. You use other resources, and people would like to know because they want to be associated with people like you. But you can just keep the balance, you know, because you are in a glamorous practice. Media will always be with you. But very important personalities in our society, you know. You can have an one-on-one -on -one talk with the president that is a rare opportunity you know, not everybody is given the opportunity to do that so just stay humble always fall in love with your work and that is the secret of uh, my work as a journey and i don't think you you bother uh, to add on to the pressure during work days nah. this is a weekend you were working yeah this is not even no. like a, a planned interview or something yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know but that that's for the vlog for the people who would like to be in the broadcasting field it's not as, as easy or as just glamorous as you think it is you have to put in too much effort yeah you know we already embrace the the, the, the line of grace under pressure no? we always work under pressure no? but uh, Writing at 2 a.m. with a deadline of a uh, yeah, given 30 to minutes. Uh, to this one, no, I covered this, and uh, no, and I'm given 30 minutes to, to finish it. I should have known because no? I could have gone there and vlogged this. Oh, okay. But no, so this, this is the lean eyes and neck grows. Yes. What does it mean again? Yeah, you know, the queen of this is the new queen of neck grows. Uh, lady coming from Talisa. From Talisa. And, um, you know, this is one of the prestigious uh, beauty pageant in our yes, province. So, uh, holding the Panaad in Negros, so that's is the mother of all festivals in Negros. Because right. you, come, you can come to a one place and all the festivals of uh, the, the 32 cities City and towns in uh, the province, you can roam around, you can dine with their, uh, no, with their foods, with their products, you, know, you can just have it in one setting so that's Panaad. It was so festive. There were very wheels. There were there were ukay ukay. Because to greet you want to know that uh, to keep our balance we have to be so uh, if you spend your day or a week no so spare even 10% of it to uh, socialize with your friends because that is how we keep our balance. And it's also bonding with the family. When does Panad happen normally? Because as far as I know, the first three years of Panad was like last week of May in 2018, 2017, when I started living in Manila. So I can boom for the Panad. Happened first week of April. Now it's been pushed to like last week. Yeah, it started uh, on April 8th and uh, will end on April 14th. So that's tomorrow. For, uh, yeah, today, today. Today, today. Yeah. today no? So it normally ends on a Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So Today is the highlight. Or yeah, the last highlight. Night the highlight. So a lot of people are going there. It's already elbow to elbow. Yeah, so you can still touch uh, Panaj and Negros. You can catch up because this uh, this is a very uh, prestigious event. It has an event. As an event, go there and yeah. have fun. Thank you. Ladies and gents, thank you. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. Thank you so much. After lunch, straight to. <laughs> yeah. This is my part time. <laughs> I'm on the job now doing business. <laughs> so this is the business time. For coffee, chats, and whatever, personal shopping. This is what I do on the side when I'm uh, on vacation. Swimwear. I, my CR, but I can try it. Tita April, say hi.
<laughs> You're on the vlog. Say your name, baby. Huh? Why are you so cute? Why? Ay! Ay! <laughs> <laughs>